Uh, so tonight's show has been recorded, so feel free to sign up and, and, and get a hold of it on your way out tonight. It's a really great new company that's uh, starting out recording people's shows and then uh, selling them that night, which I think is mo the most awesome fucking technology on earth. I used to record on shows on an 8-track player. Does anybody remember those? <laughs> it's like through half the song, so it's what a great technology. I'd like to thank Suspect for playing before us. You guys kick ass, you good folk. And to our wonderful crew of uh, uh, Dan Corporal over there in the corner. Uh, we've got Dan Blonding up there. Ooh, Dan, he's got a hotel room. <laughs> Um, Dan Blondin, who's a, a new to our organization, you guys. Give Dan a nice, tell him why he needs to keep working with us. <laughs> do, the, do the wave, Dan, like, we need a bit. <laughs> Saddam Hussein does that, too. And uh, Ernie. Ernie Albert, who does our sound, a new, new, new member of the organization. He does a great job. Thanks, Ernie. Uh, we got so many people, I have no idea what everyone's names are anymore. We've got uh, Soupy in the back selling our t-shirts. Please go up and say hi to Soupy. We'll be over there afterwards signing stuff for you guys or, or just saying hello and uh, trying to promote our music. You can also put your name on our mailing list, which is, which is highly effective. Um, We've got Larry, our bus driver. And our beautiful models that modeled for us today on the side of the street. And about six others. Beautiful models. We need a couple cute guys to wear that baby to you, too. Who else? We got some other people, don't we? Who? I know there's more crew, though, isn't there? Seriously, I don't remember. It's a bit confusing after seven seconds. And another thing I'd like to tell you as far as Easter goes, well, I'll get to these guys. Uh, back when Snow was just like there was a mini-me version of him. We played music at a place called Talagi some 17 years ago on Easter Sunday. So this is kind of like a 17-year anniversary. I don't know how I'm still alive, but I'm uh, still playing music and I love it. And without these wonderful musicians, Snowman, Brian Powers, Jerry Jones here. <laughs> get a beer on the jet. Bill Mutchler, Len Mooney, uh, Tom Askin. I swear there's more to our crew. There's a new guy today. James. Steve. Steve. Man, are we forgetting someone? I swear there's like 20 people at the end of the road on our bus fighting for pizza. More than that, isn't it? And thanks to you guys most of all. What a great audience. And the folks have recorded by uh, Christina, who wouldn't dare step on our bus. That was very wise. I wanted to show you the little slide that I put together. Did you see it, Christina? That's what I was working on. And uh, uh, we're, I have a bluegrass album that I'm recording with a, a good friend named, uh, what is his name? Bob Degree in the Midnight Storm that's going to come out. We're going to be recording an album together in about a month. We recorded one tonight. And we've got two versions of a DVD coming out. Oh, Ralph Pasta, that's why I almost forgot. A terrific, wonderful, lovable manager. Oh, for whom without, I definitely wouldn't be playing music. I love Ralph to death, and I'm putting a real test for this, uh, you know, down in Texas. And our great booking agency, Skyline, who books us. And, uh, you know, it's just nice. I, I want to go off a little bit here, because the last time we played, I was literally in tears, because I was quite aware as our audience was, and that that was the end of us. I was just like, oh man, I, I wanted to tell everybody, I'm like, this is it. And it's so nice to be back and playing. And so everyone at the Paradise, everybody has been terrific to us today. And one last thing, you guys, we're trying to get on the fucking Bonnaroo Festival, and no one will return our calls! Can you guys, like, email them or something and say, get on, there's like an East Coast version, we've been dying to get on this thing. We have no hope, so maybe our audience will, will let everybody know that we should be on there. But that's what we're up against. I'm sure they're great people, and I'm sure we're oddballs and music Oh, and another last thing. I did my first interview in Rolling Stone magazine a week ago. And it was an interview all about this laminate that we made that, thank God, many people had paid for and helped us 
survive and uh, pay off some bills and keep the, uh, the people away that wanted to take us right down the drain. Money seems to run the world. And thanks to Joanne. Joanne, I have all those posters and stuff about too. Joanne, a survivor. How's your sister doing? Good. Survivors. So, uh, thank you so much, and this is a song for you guys.